LG has launched two new Android Wear devices running Android Wear version 2.0, the largest update to the platform in its history. This is the $250 LG Watch style, which is packaged in a rather large box. That is the first observation, which is that the box appears much larger than the watch itself. It's certainly one of the largest boxes I've seen for a wearable device. We can start the unboxing process by slicing off the two pieces of tape holding the top of the box together. If we lift off the top, we'll see the LG Watch style sprawled out in all of its silver and brown leather glory. You can buy this watch in silver, which is the model I have in front of me, or you could buy it in rose gold and or titanium. As for what's inside the box, we'll see there is just a US wall wart and a magnetic inductive charging cable below it. Uh, aside from the standard paperwork, that's really all that's in the box. So what separates the style from the sport model is its slimmer profile and lower end specifications. You'll see the case is very thin, measuring in at just under 11 millimeters compared to 14 millimeters with the Sport. I mean, that doesn't seem like that much of a difference, but those extra three millimeters add significant bulk to your wrist. We'll also see only one knob on the style compared to three on the Sport, or at least three different physical buttons to interact with. The watch module itself is constructed with stainless steel and the watch band is made of genuine leather. The color of the band is not my favorite, uh, but it does pair well with the silver watch module, and it can easily be removed since it features an interchangeable mode band. Overall, the watch's appearance is very conservative in my opinion. It looks very traditional with its round display, and it doesn't take too many risks in the design department. It looks like a traditional old watch. The setup process is extremely straightforward. I'll be using an iPhone in this video, but the process is similar on Android devices as well. Uh, basically, you just boot up the Android Wear app and navigate to the setting that says pair with a new wearable. If your LG watch is turned on, which it should be, it should show up on the app. If it doesn't, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. Uh, from there, it's just a matter of pressing the on-screen pair button and waiting for the watch to update. The 1.2 inch full circle POLED display features a 360 by 360 resolution with a near 300 pixel per inch index. Content appears to be very crisp and detailed at arm's length. Uh, the only major con I have with it based off of first impressions is the fact that there is a noticeable black border around the display. It's nowhere near as bad as the Pebble Time Round, but it is noticeable. Now what makes this watch so special is the software. This is Android Wear version 2.0, which features a ton of new features over the previous version. Google has taken their time with this update and it is finally here. It's long overdue in my opinion. It's the single biggest update to the platform since it launched. We'll see there is a new darker, more mature design that should help conserve some battery life. There's a new main menu that can be accessed with a press of the physical button. Uh, this lists all of the apps on the watch and you can scroll through them all using the crown that is on the side of the watch. What's neat about Android Wear 2.0 is that apps will run natively on the watch, so you don't have to be tethered to your phone necessarily to take advantage of the applications. The LG Watch Style does not feature LTE, but the LG Watch Sport does, so you can literally put a SIM card in your watch and never have to pair it with your smartphone. I do really like how LG has incorporated a digital crown of sorts on the LG Watch Style. It's a really nice new feature and it's something that I've grown to love with the digital crown on the Apple Watch. You know, not having to touch the small display with your finger. None of the limited screen real estate will be um, obstructed with a finger. You can just use the uh, digital crown on the side to scroll through content. Now we will see changes made to the watch faces. So you can swipe to the left to change a watch face and long press on one to edit how it looks. Uh, there's a new complications API that will now let third-party developers include uh, data from their apps on the watch faces themselves. And so what that means, depending on the watch face, of course, you can essentially add a bunch of widgets to the face to create shortcuts to specific apps. So right from the watch face itself, you can open up your Google Fit information and view various events from your calendar and all of that good stuff. A long press of the crown will activate the Google Assistant, which is now found in Android 2.0. It works best when you're using an Android Wear device with an Android phone, but it does also work with an iPhone, just not so well. I mean, Android Wear in general doesn't work very well with iOS, but we're gonna save that rant for another video. It basically just comes down to everyday functionality like setting text messages and viewing all of Google's wonderful search results right from your watch. You can't really do that 
when you're paired with an iPhone, unfortunately. So there's a lot of little things that have been changed and a lot of features that we'll have to test in practice, uh, such as Android Pay support. My goal is to wear this watch on my wrist for the next couple of weeks and test its features with an iPhone and with an Android device. Then I'll publish my full review and also post a video uh, covering all the features of Android Wear 2.0 uh, in detail. If that sounds good to you, hit the thumbs up button. You're definitely going to want to be subscribed, so hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. And let us know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I want to hear what they are, and I'll do my best to answer them. The LG Watch style is $250. I'll place a link to check it out on the Google Store. As always, I'm Bo HD from PhoneDag.com. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.